made a rock. <laughs> better than an iceberg. Hey folks, it's fall time, and I'm going paddling with my friend to enjoy the colorful foliage. I will bring my fishing gear, of course. I've been to this lake before, and I got skunked. Several times. It's a shallow lake with a lot of weeds. So my challenge today is to see if I can break the spooky curse. And as a bonus, stick around. I will show you my recent trip to New York Comic Con in the spirit of Halloween, cool costumes, and other pop culture stuff. But first, let's enjoy the outdoors. <laughs> I have an intense startle reflex. Man. Oh God. Did you, did you just record that? Yeah. You. Happy Halloween. Dude, you're like, I didn't even know you were coming. I was literally gonna finish this book and then go kayaking by myself. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know me, I'm a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> That's one way to put it. Your boat is small already. It's eight feet, right? I don't think you can get any smaller than that. Get the kids one. <laughs> huh. That's yeah. weird. Yeah. I think it's doable. I'm gonna try it. Okay. You can get the right problem. It's an adventure. It is just, <laughs> just enough water. Oh my god. Uh, mm. you know I think somebody did this. There's a rock here. Wow. You're a good dude, though. Okay. We did it. Woohoo! Glad I brought a sponge. That part protects the hook from the weeds when it swims through the water, but also creates a shaky sound, a rattling sound. Okay. To wake up any fish that might be around. I was about to ask what that does for you. Al, this is like the perfect fall day for this. It is. This lake is full of very tall weeds, so I'm using a chatterbait, which allows me to cover at least the top one foot of open water above the weed line. The chatterbait rattles as I retrieve it, creating vibration and noise. everywhere this past hour. It's very shallow in this part of the lake. Probably about four or five feet, but shallow in the sense of all the weeds. See all that weed? I was casting so I could stay on the surface away from them. Caught a fish. What? Chain pickerel. Ooh. The one that looks like a snake. I'll show you. It's a nice one. I want to get her off the hook before they shake and hurt themselves too much. Oh, okay. Came out fairly easily. Wow, that's a good size. Nice. What you gonna name it? Carolyn. No. <laughs> Wanna pet it? 
No, I'm good. <laughs> don't they have teeth? Don't they bite? They do. That's why I have this instrument. Yeah, no, I definitely don't want to cut it. <laughs> well, I mean, you can touch the side. I'm good. I finally got a reaction out in the open water. It's not a biggie, but it's a nice aggressive chain pickerel. I'll take it to break the curse. They came out with a Godzilla King of Monsters, the movie, the American version, which which is over the top. <laughs> a lot of them are. Well, the American version, the Hollywood version, they made Godzilla like ten times bigger than the Japanese version. Sorry. America has to be bigger, right? Yeah, we got a copy of it. And he's pretty lifelike looking. He doesn't look like a guy in a suit. It's cute in the old days, the old version. Especially if you watch the Godzilla 2000, there's like Matthew Broderick in it. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was okay. I like the shape of Godzilla in that one too. He was more lizard-like. Mm. Squarish head. And they had Mothra in the King of Monsters, the movie. Mm. It was pretty cool because he was glowing. A lot of lights on his wings. Yeah. And he was badass. <laughs> I dragged you out here. No, no, not at all. Not at Kicking all. and screaming. No, the only two times I went was with you. Thanks for hanging. Thanks for inviting me. I could get at least one more fish. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I will catch one for you. Thank you. Although that last one I named Carolyn. You did. I don't know what you're going to name the next one. Maybe Kathy. There you go. <laughs> That's a good name. <laughs> okay, Carol. Thanks, Al. Thanks. Have a great day. See you There's a whole bunch of fish right under this tree. I'm hoping I can catch something here. to dwell in the same spot too long. Let's take a moment to enjoy the brilliant colors of fall. something got something oh it's pretty good pretty good what is this it's a, it's a bass I think I think it's a bass it's a bass it's a nice bass oh my god I got it I got it look at that yes oh my god it's a tough day started good with the chin pickerel 
and nothing would bite for a while. But I persisted. Caught on the left side, I used a tiny crankbait. It's by Begley. The colors of their cranks are nice and bright. Got it. I think I got it. this lake before and got skunked. Today I was determined not to get skunked. Oh. <laughs> Just trying to get the treble hooks out of my net. Tiny crankbait by Begley. Bass or bluegill. Either one I was looking for. It's not a monster bass but it's a nice one. See the way the head is like concave like that? That means they're older. There you go, there's your fin. Dorsal fin. They're sexy when they show that off. I was able to catch two fish in a lake with lots of weeds. Only two, but I'm happy with that because I broke the curse. Now let's shop at the farmer's market. It's good to support your local mom and pop businesses. I'll get a small pumpkin, an amazing gourd, and an assortment of apples for an apple pie. I can always use onions. Oh, and definitely some pumpkin donuts and crumb cake for the road. I see a turtle. Okay, we're done shopping, but wait, there's more. As promised, here is a bonus, my day at the New York Comic Con. Let's take a nice walk in the city to the convention. Who says you can't see much nature in the city? Okay, we're at the show. Let's check out the cool cosplay costumes. How many characters can you name? Check out the cool collectibles. Which ones do you like? Needless to say, there's no shortage of Star Wars merchandise and Star Trek too. One of my favorite merchandise to see is Godzilla.
Oh look, I found a turtle. It's a cute turtle. Found some more turtles. And then the turtles, of course. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please subscribe if you're new here. And like if you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time on my outdoor, nature, and geeky channel.